we, WXC, you, good sir, and the team have sold this venue. Mike, out. Mike and Norbert. That's right. Big shout outs to Mike and Norbert as well. Mike Pedinelli, matchmaker, Norbert, assistant, promoter, I guess you could say co partner. So. No questions asked. And uh, we're, we're proud to be in Crystal Gardens at Southgate. As mentioned, this building is sold out um, for us every single January. Always a, an electric crowd and uh, some electric fights tonight as well. Yeah, no doubt. You know, tonight, Night of Champions, the proven the point tonight of champions is champions. And that's what tonight's all about. It's going to be all champions, WXC's claim to fame, the gold which they carry around their heads around this cage, I'm telling you. It's going to be a great night tonight. I thank all those at home for tuning in and being with WXC. And as always, I am proud to bring you the best amateur mixed martial arts in the state. There's no question about that. You know that all around this great lake state, the Rock and Roll Mixed Martial Arts Show is Warrior Extreme Cage Fighting. I had a chance. And tonight, tonight is a Super Bowl. That's of amateur right. MMA. We've given it that name and it has stood the test of time. Nobody's been able to beat it. So I'm excited to bring you yet again Super Bowl number five from WXC. It, it, it definitely does fit the time of year as we get ready to wrap up football season, the end of January, early February. Uh, mixed martial arts is only kicking off for the new year. As I was saying, uh, we had a chance to be at Wayans last night with an incredible Incredible stack rack, ready to go card. I hope many of the fans at home had a chance to tune into that. To see some of the, the emotion and intentions that's that's coming out on this is amazing. So I can't wait to see how it how it uh, excels and delivers in the cage. Talking about some of our fights tonight, one of them being our main event that will be between. Let, let's let's start from the bottom of this championship. We can't go we can't go to the bread and butter of the show, Joey. You know better than that. All right, so so let's let's go in to our first fight, starting off our championship fights. We're gonna go with Thomas Fadoli and Jesse Bozzi. Now, as you know, rematch. Thomas Fadoli lost his belt to Jesse Bozzi, uh, what, three months ago in Wayne, Michigan for WXC 40. And I'm telling you, uh, you know, Tom Fadoli coming into that fight, what I understand with some type of uh, chest, head cold, wasn't able to compete, wasn't able to finish, uh, lost a lot of energy. Says that's the reason why he lost the fight. Told Jesse that, now he's ready to bring it back into the cage and see if he's going to be able to deliver this time and retain his belt that he is disappointed he lost. And of course, going into Jesse, oh, yeah. you, you, you got a mountain of a man to climb over in the featherweights right there, I'm telling you. It's going to be awesome. I've uh, had the pleasure and privilege of seeing Mr. Bozzi's uh, majority of the fights that he has had here with Warrior Extreme. An incredible competitor. Um, truly a tough contender throughout this entire state. I'm excited to see what he brings to the table tonight against Fadoli, who as we know, an experienced wrestler and also a veteran within these cage walls. Yeah, you know, slipping right into that, we're gonna go into the big boys, okay. bringing, up the, uh, bringing up the cruiserweight belt, just one from uh, Josh Parisian, just one from SFS, Great show. just one November 9th, WXC 41, Great show. and already putting his belt on the line, ready to test the waters. Now, I don't know if many of the people at home had a chance to see that fight or some of the videos, but Parisian took a beating, a massive beating for one entire round. And uh, just when you thought it was over, you know, you heard Rocky's little man in the corner say, Get up, you son of a bitch! Because James Gray loves you. And I tell you what, all of a sudden, boom, knocked out, crossed the cage, Parisian to a finish. It was a Rocky finish. I'm telling you, it was awesome. Hats off to the guys at Scorpion Fighting System. Mr. James Gray has an incredible team put together, um, a wonderful gym. These guys train and fight hard. Last show was called SFS versus the World, and they took on the majority. They went, they went eight and two on that one, so that was a, that was good for them. Great and I'm telling you, but Parisian is facing a guy he went three rounds with, went three rounds, went all the way to the bell, won by way of judge. He's fighting Andrew Morton tonight coming out of Stars and Strikes. As you know, Stars and Strikes and FSF, proven teams. Two teams that just bring some annihilation to the cage. Definitely wanted to say hats off to Stars and Strikes as well. You're going to see a couple matchups tonight between the boys, excuse me, the men at Stars and Strikes and the men at uh, SFS. Some great battles. Uh, hats off to uh, Mr. James Stryker. Yeah. It, well, we'll see how tonight goes. Did he prepare Mr. Morton? to conquer his rematch and regain the win and the WXC gold tonight. We don't know. You know, going into the next fight, we've got the uh, uh, the lightweight belt going up. Of course, uh, Keith Bullock relinquishing it uh, to move into the featherweight division, which that's a little peep into your uh, main event for tonight. But uh, we've got Jerome Otler, a seasoned 
seasoned uh, lightweight coming out of WXC, and he is facing newcomer Mitch uh, Mitchell Bartz. And uh, I've seen Bartz, he's good. Um, I, I gotta say, they don't they don't give Mr. Otler the moniker of Ox for no reason. He comes in there, he does his thing, and he brings the pain. Really, like you said, a seasoned veteran in the cage. Yep. I do want to say hats off to. Uh, but Mr. Bates, you know, I've never seen him fight. He's a seasoned fighter coming out of uh, courageous uh, mixed martial arts. And uh, let's just see who's going to be the better uh, prevailing fighter tonight. Moving in, we got newcomer Jack Lam or Jake Lamb coming from the Northern. This kid packs a flawless record. I believe he's 11-1. He's in great shape. Too, uh, he's he's challenging our Bantamweight champion, Jordan McGuire. Just won it, WXC 40. Yep. Uh, took out a really good fighter. Uh, uh, you know, back in WXC 40, and now he's coming up. Now his first defend right out of the gate is going to be against a, a a mountain of a fighter. And I know I've used that a lot tonight, but you know, I tell you what, mountain is is what this thing's all about. Everybody right now is on the top of the mountain. It's, it's who's going over that's going to matter tonight. Fight fans, that's true. We don't call this the Super Bowl of mixed martial arts for no reason. Climbing mountains to victory, falling off of them for a loss tonight. You will see a lot of tables turn. You will lot. You will, see, excuse me, you will see a lot of belts earned. This is Warrior Extreme Cage Fighting. Continuing with this card, Jeff, what do we got next, my man? Now we've got our co-main event, Joey. Okay. Building up into our main event. Our co-main event is Nick Sondergill versus Josh Puget. Josh Puget, been around the WXC ring quite a bit. So has Mr. Sondergill. Both of them bringing some attention into the ring. And it looks like we're having a bit of difficulties. Yes, indeed. Are we good to go, sir? Okay. Our... Uh, our difficulties is, I hope the folks at home are still not losing us. I, I'm told they're hearing us. Turn around. Hey, they've got you right over there. Can you see me? Can you see me? Folks at home, I haven't had anything to drink. I think my staff has, though. But uh, just give us one second, and we will finish up the final bit of this card. I uh, cannot believe that we are stuck at this given minute trying to figure out what's going on with our camera. We're going, we're going back to this camera now. Jason Muggs, you are really messing this shit up tonight, I'm telling you. Ladies and gentlemen, Jason Muggs, our fine cameraman that don't work hard enough. <laughs> Continuing with the card. Continuing with the show because now we can finally come back to you in your living rooms, offices, bedrooms, wherever the hell we're hitting you tonight. We How much should we miss on that one there? A good five to seven? Did I babble for absolutely no reason, Mr. Muggs? Not a minute. You've heard me the whole time, so I hope the fans at home feel very comfortable with me because this is going to get funner. Co-main event, Joey. Here we go, co-main event. Co-main event, Nick Sondergill, Josh Puget. Josh Puget, seasoned WXC champion, uh, just won his belt too, uh, but WXC 40, I think it was. Uh, Westland, I think it was. Am I yes, correct? Yes, it was. Joey's unsure. I'm no, unsure. No, here. <laughs> Let's, let's talk about Mr. Puget. I mean, an experience that, much like the majority of the fighters that you're seeing this evening with WXC, um, I'm very happy to see Josh stepping into a title fight position. Um, he's somebody who has earned his stripes. I've seen him fight in several gyms, all the way back to 3D Fitness. Shout out to those guys. Great camp coming out of uh, Monroe well, at one time. His challenger tonight is Sondergill. Oh, I know. I haven't even gotten so. there yet. I'd also like to touch base on Nick, man. Truly, um, probably one of my favorite fighters to see. Say it about a, a handful of different gentlemen, but uh, Sandergal coming up from Toledo, and he has came up from Toledo on the rain in a crotch rocket after working yes, eight hours to uh, fight in this cage. So he puts his heart and soul in here. And uh, I'm sure we're going to see it tonight. I'm almost positive we're going to see the best of Sandergal and the best of Bouget. Uh, a little bit of Facebook drama going on, and I love Facebook. It builds these shows right to the top. I'm telling you. Next, okay, our main event. Main event. Do you know who our main event is tonight, Joey? I think I've already let the cat out of the bag with this one. Mentioned earlier, fight fans. You've seen him before, you're going to see him again. We're talking about Mr. Keith Bullock versus the one and only Devin Bad News Brown. This oh, is DB, baby. DB. You know, let me tell the fans at home where this fight has gone since it started. Uh, Keith Bullock wanted to get the 45. Devin Brown. Uh, was saying he was going to relinquish the belt, move to the pros. Uh, Keith Bullock said, you know what, nothing better than taking the belt from the best 45er in the state. And uh, my question is, is he going to have? Is he going to do it tonight? Do you think Keith Bullock is going to pull off a victory over Devin Brown tonight, Joey? That's a great question. Um, 
You know, the thing with mixed martial arts is extremely unpredictable. We have seen uh, Devin in what we thought was his last amateur competition um, in a previous engagement where uh, he actually ended up with, with a loss that night. So, so I, I can't say that I know what's going to happen. Mr. Bluff's going to come out on top. Brown will, uh, you know, continue that vicious record that he has. But I do know that it is going to be a battle to the finish between these two in our main event. Well, Devin Brown, because of this call out, because of Keith Bullock, in Devin's words, running his mouth, has hindered Devin's approach to the pros. And he said, I just got to spank another guy before I hit my pros. So, you know, we know Keith, one hell of a fighter. I'm curious to see if he's going to hand out a spanking or get spanked. And I know I love Devin Brown, love Keith, but both of these fighters, it's it's hard to tell who's going to be victorious tonight. And uh, and again, proven back tonight, United Champions. Who is ready to be the champion tonight? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Super Bowl of mixed martial arts right here in the heart of Southgate, Michigan. We're live from Crystal Gardens. Thank you so much for joining us. ACSLive.tv. We're happy to have you. Make sure that you stay up to date with everything in 2013 WXC related. 2013. Looking good this year. WXC looking real good. Breaking Point Entertainment. Best of luck to all of our fighters in tonight's event. And we will see you, Casey. Well, before you 12 more fights on top of that, Joey. Oh, 12 more fights. Fans at home are in for a treat. 1495 ain't going to do this fight card justice, I'm telling you. The undercover so, is insane. So I'm really excited for this fight card. I'm really excited for you, the fans that make this happen, that make all of this wonderful. And I look forward to a wonderful evening. And uh, let's uh, let's go introduce the world to the 2013 Night of Champions, Joey. Indeed we shall. Night of Champions, number five.
Do you hear me now? Ooh. Is it too loud? No, I can press good because when they start getting crazy. Can you hear me, Harley? Okay. Harley can't hear me. Is this loud? I'm gonna start getting this. Give me some drinks, Harley. They should get us some drinks. That they should. Already had two knee replacements. Just fucking up my swag, Mugs. Fucking up my swag with these things. Just use one. Don't think about it. Just, no, just use it. one. Talk good. Just use one. I can hear you. Yeah. All you gotta know is what he's what he's saying. Maybe if you put it on this side, put it on your back here. That, that way you can still hear him. Darren Lucian, he's doing superstar. Darren Lucian. What? This camera. Still fucked up? That's that one. I got some drinks for the commentator. Uh, Nick Dorley. 